In our rapidly evolving world, success is defined by turning challenges into opportunities. With enough foresight and ingenuity, the complex problems of today can become the achievements of tomorrow. I'm Fred Thompson. From business and technology to healthcare and the environment, join me as we take a closer look inside the workings of the modern global economy. Welcome to Inside Business. I'm Fred Thompson, and I'm Inside Business. Technology is the engine of human progress, but building a better world increasingly means developing innovative ways to help preserve it. Let's take a look at the evolution of green technology. Americans love their computers, televisions, cars, roads, houses, and clothing. But how many realize that we will need 7 billion tons of minerals and metals this year alone to sustain our standard of living? Each newborn in this country will require 3.7 million pounds of minerals, metals, and fuels across the lifespan. Each year, we have to extract 48,000 pounds of materials in order to meet the needs of the things that we want in our daily lives. In addition, the mining industry is very supportive of renewable energy. Solar, wind, biomass, all those are important. However, fossil fuels are going to play an even more important role in our lives in the future, especially coal, as we meet the energy demands and needs of this country. The U.S. has over 27% of the world's coal resources, which represents roughly a 250-year supply. This country currently uses more than 1 billion tons of coal a year. Global warming and greenhouse emissions have caused the nation to take another look at nuclear energy. There are currently 104 nuclear reactors in operation in the U.S., supplying about 20% of the nation's energy needs and 443 reactors worldwide. Annually, this nation's nuclear facilities require about 52 million pounds of enriched uranium, U-308, about 10% of which comes from U.S. mines. Natural resources development has long been characterized by a harvest and move on to another region type attitude, but now fully embraces the concepts and imperatives of sustainable development. Mining companies work with federal, state, and local agencies as well as stakeholders to develop, operate, and reclaim mining operations in the most environmentally friendly ways possible. We raise our families in the same communities that surround these mines. Mining inevitably disturbs the land. The industry is now more conscientious about reclaiming measures during and after production, with a policy of trying to leave it in better shape than they found it. All U.S. mining operations must have detailed reclamation plans approved by government officials and local permitting groups before they begin work, including posting substantial reclamation bonds. Underground mines don't cause as much surface disruption, but operators face strict regulations as well, stabilizing tailing ponds during use and reclaiming the area when mining is completed. Mining is one of the most heavily regulated industries in the country. Virtually all aspects of mining, from worker safety to employment to environmental management and protection, are governed by federal, state, and local laws and regulations. Reclamation requirements and financial guarantees ensure that mined lands are reclaimed and suitable for post-mining uses without cost to the public. Mining is a complicated business and involves thousands of professionals worldwide. To provide unity and professional development, they turn to their professional organization, the SME. The Society for Mining, Metallurgy, and Exploration, otherwise known as SME, is an international society composed of professionals in the mining and minerals industry. SME provides a forum for the development of mining as it relates to the economy and conducting mining in a socially and environmentally responsible manner. In the mining industry, we have a phrase, if it can't be grown, it has to be mined. Everything that we need and everything that we use comes from natural resources. There's no substitute for mining. In the future, those who don't have minerals will be at the mercy of those who do. 
To learn more about this story, visit the Society for Mining, Metallurgy, and Exploration at www.smenet.org.